Okay, here's a, the problem solving video for problem 522. It says find I0 using superposition. And again, we're going to utilize the problem solving strategy on page 172. And it says in a network containing multiple independent sources, each source can be applied independently with the remaining sources off. To turn off a voltage source, replace it with a short. To turn off a current source, replace it with an open. Use circuit analysis techniques to solve uh, for each individual source and then add all the results together. So here's our circuit and we're going to go through and analyze it with only one source active. Uh, so for instance, if we take and turn off the 6 milliamp source on the top and the voltage source, the remaining circuit looks like this and you'll notice the voltage source was here, the current source was here, this is an open, this is a short. Now, um, if we look, uh, for instance, uh, this little connection here, um, we really could take these two points and move them together. So what we have in reality are these two resistors in parallel and then those two resistors in parallel. So let's redraw the circuit. Uh, showing that this, this 6 kilo ohm at the top is really out of the problem just because it's, 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 it's in series with that current source which has been replaced by an open. So if we take our circuit and redraw it, we could redraw it as follows. Here's the current I zero prime. And if we look at this node at the bottom, you can see really we have a current divider. This two milliamps has been divided between new, those two, so we can calculate I zero prime using current division. Okay, so we'd have two milliamps. We want the current through the two K. So we put this one in the top, so we have four K over 2k plus 4k that gives us I zero prime equal four-thirds of a milliamp okay so that's with one source active and that's a two milliamp current source now let's look at the circuit with the 12 volt source active and the other two so current sources replaced by open circuits. There's our circuit. And again, if we look, that 6K is, has no impact on the problem. And um, if we notice these two resistors in series, so we could redraw this circuit as follows. We have the 12 volt. Uh, this is 4 kilo ohms, 2 kilo ohms. This is 6 kilo ohms, which is a series combination. And this is I0 double prime. Now, if we look at our circuit and look at it from the standpoint of Ohm's law, we can see that I0 double prime is going to be minus 12 divided by 6K or minus 2 milliamps. And if you look, uh, the voltage across this resistor is 12 volts of this polarity, so there's really 2 milliamps flowing in that direction. Okay, so when the voltage source is active, I0 double prime is equal to minus 2 milliamps. Now, let's analyze it with the 6 milliamp source in the problem. There's our circuit. Okay, and if we look, uh, notice that these two resistors are in parallel. Excuse me, they're in series. So let's first of all, they're really in parallel, but let's combine them in series and let's redraw this circuit. So now the circuit would look like the following. If 
We combine them in series. We have six kilo ohms. Here's the current I zero triple prime. Now, if we notice from this, the voltage across this resistor is zero, so I zero triple prime is zero. So that six milliamp source makes no con uh, contribution to the current I zero. So I zero is I zero prime plus I zero double prime plus I zero triple prime, and we have. I zero prime was four thirds of a milliamp. I zero double prime was minus two milliamps. I zero triple prime was zero. So that gives us I zero equal to minus two thirds of a milliamp.